Welcome to Cooking Life with Des. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And for today, for today's video, let us make borong manga. This is a Filipino delicacy or Filipino side dish. And we are going to use this uh, green mango, right? whatever kind of mango, and then wash it first and remove the skin. So I'm going to use uh, pillars to remove the skin of this mango. I would love to advise to use this kind of mango. It's some kind of yellowish mango. It is perfect for this kind of side dish. It will give you a nice taste, crunchy and yummy. Now we are done removing all the skin of the mango. The next step that we are going to do is, still we are going to use the peeler to slice the mango in a very thin kind of uh, slice just like this so this is the reason why i am going to use this pillar uh, to slice this mango but if you have a slicer a very nice slicer then that will be better and since i don't have that i am going to use only the pillars and be very careful in doing this because uh, the pillar is dangerous and you might get hurt so we are going to cut or slice all the mango in this way I choose to use peelers to cut or to slice the mango because I want it to be thin. When it is thin, it can easily absorb the sugar that we are going to use in fermenting the mango or making borong manga. Now we are done. See? Since we made it as in a thin slice, it can easily absorb the sugar or whatever ingredients that we are going to mix with it. After washing it, remove it from the water and we use a strainer to drain the remaining water from the mango, just like this. That was the first step of washing the mango. The second step is, since we are using a tap water, we are going to use salt and a little bit of vinegar to make sure that there is no, or we are going to kill the bacteria and any insect insecticide that can be, or we can get from the water. Then, using this, this water, let us wash the mango again. After washing it, drain it using the strainer. Set it aside for at least 10 minutes to make sure that the remaining water is removed. After 10 minutes, place it on the bowl and then add 1 cup of sugar. You can use any kind of sugar, brown, white, uh, powdered sugar or whatever sugar that is available at home mix it thoroughly or nicely until the sugar is divided equally to our mango after or uh, check it if the mango is a little bit soft like this so if you will notice some of the water is coming out from the mango but don't worry don't remove it it's just normal we need actually the water or syrup from sugar it will help our mango to be fermented or to make burung manga nicely now we are going to place it in a clean jar or plastic jar whatever kind of jar that you have inside your house that you can play manga. <music> After placing it on a jar or a box, you can keep it in the refrigerator for weeks or months. You can eat it as dessert, side dish, whenever you want. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.